Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. In a CR1 Trumfwana, why Trumfwana? CR1 is, a, is just a politician. CR1 is a politician. He is a politician who reads things. We throw for an Asia one. Asia one reads things. He just looks. And we become of his spiritual issue. But no, in Ghana land of here, people will not listen. So I become not to spiritual power. Hey, spiritual power, spiritual power. All those things that Asia one says, it's basically because he knows the minds of Zambians. A person that we call, you are excited. Pasande is going to talk. Pasande is going to talk. You are excited. All he's doing between now and then is packaging his message. He's packaging his message. And he will come and release it. And people will be excited, will be clapping. It is nothing but politics. Nothing but politics. And him is on advantage. Sia one is on advantage. Sia one is not in this country. So Sia one can say whatever he wants. He can even lie. He can even call whoever stupid. He can even insult. He can come up with anything. He can accuse anyone. He can defame anyone. He's not in the country. He can't be arrested. He can't be arrested. And that is the difference. Some of you, you talk about you should understand the difference. In a panonji I cannot defame anyone. I defame anyone, I say anything defamatory. I mean, my law will be in court, police will be here. See, I want, no one is going to arrest him. So he's free to say anything he wants, even if it is not true. And unfortunately, in politics, the morality of about truth and honesty is that line is very, is very faint. It's very faint. Is very faint of the truthfulness and whatever. It's very faint. He can say anything. He will come on Sunday. He has told you, hey, what, what? He will come and tell you a lot of things about Haka in the Ichirema, about ministers. He will tell you. And a lot of you, you will be very happy. You will be cheery. You will be cheery. You will be happy. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for believing everything that Sia One who, who says. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. And I don't blame Sia One. I don't blame him. He's a politician. He's a politician. And a politician must speak. And he must speak to convince people. Sia One convinces people. By UPNG, you know how he convinced a lot of people to vote against PF. Sia One played a big role. To put you in power, he played a big role. But tell me, is everything that Sia One said true? Is it true? You know very well that a lot of things that he said were not true. But he was doing politics. He was doing politics. And it was up to a PF to counter that lie. To, it was about it is it was up to a PF. And a PF never did that. They never did. And at the end of the day, CR1 became our political deus, our political demon, our political god. To Zambia, CR1 became a political god. A, a lot of people listened to CR1. You listen to CR1. They listen to CR1. It is the same thing that is happening. CR1, when he starts dropping, he start coming consistently, consistently talking about UPND, talking about the failures of UPND, truthful or not truthful. 
a lot of people will believe. And I, I, I repeat this, I will not blame CR1. I will not blame the naive Zambians. I will blame by UPND. And that is my point, where I'm saying, Baaka in the wake up with your politics. If there is CR1 talking, in the manner that he's talking, convincing people, ask yourselves, do you have another person that can counter CR1? Because you can't underrate CR1. Don't underrate him. Many people will be listening to CR1. Many people will believe CR1. And other people. Of course. Other people that are within the... They will believe him. Even when by UPND, do you have somebody that will be able to counter? Are you able to, to articulate issues, to counter, to make, to make people believe you? So far, you have lamentably failed... You have lamentably failed to convince the Zambian people that the current economic challenges that are going on in the country are not peculiar to Zambia and not as a result of your failure totally. Yes, you, there is a responsibility that you have. There is somewhere where you have failed. But you have failed to convince people even on the side where, you, where it is not your fault. You have failed. You have failed on fuel. You have failed to articulate to people, to make people understand how, you know, the fuel prices has increased up to where it is. You have failed completely. You have failed to tell the Zambian people how come those promises you made, you are not able to fulfill them. You have failed and you have gone quiet about it. You, are, you have failed to go back why isn't the bag of mini meal today not 50 kwacha as you promised? Why? You have, you, you have failed to explain to people. You have failed to explain to people. Why isn't the bag of fertilizer not selling at 250 kwacha as you promised? You have failed. But surely, if you were good at politics, are you telling me you would have no explanation to that? Because this is very, it's very simple. The issue of fuel is very simple. It's very simple if you are doing the right politics. By now, Zambians would have been appreciating you that you have actually tried to maintain the pricing of fuel far much better than in other countries. Zambians don't know that fuel is more expensive in South Africa today. Zambians don't know that fuel is more expensive in Zimbabwe. Zambians don't know that fuel is more expensive in many neighboring countries, including Malawi. They don't know. They don't know. What many people on the streets know is that UPND has failed completely. They, uh, they found, uh, they found the, uh, fuel at seven, 17 kwacha during Edgar Lungu. Now it is 30 kwacha. That's what they know. Because B, UPND has failed. That's what they know. That's what they know. And those who are saying Edgar Lungu sold at 17 kwacha, even when you are selling at 30 kwacha, you can't blame them. You can't blame them. They are doing politics. But what about you, Bahaka in the HDMI with your people? How are you countering to this message? How are you countering? What are you telling the people to say, this is why I can't sell fuel at 12 kwacha. I wanted to sell fuel at 12 kwacha, but by that time, there was no war in Ukraine and Russia. When I came in, there was war. And fuel became expensive. And this is how we are struggling and making fuel to be cheaper to sell at this much. Why are you not able to bring, to show how other countries are struggling with fuel, including Nigeria, by the way. Nigeria, which even has oil. Nigeria, they're also struggling. They're also struggling. You, are, you have failed to explain this. Why have you failed? Politics is bad. Your politics is bad. And the CR1 will come and will hammer you. People will be happy to hear that you have failed.
Don't forget, political power is in people. That's where political power is. Political power is in people. Those, you know, riots and the demonstration that were happening in the late 90, in a, a, a late, um, uh, late, uh, um, uh, late eighties, in the late eighties, they didn't come from nowhere. Uh -uh. It was the politics. It was the politics. They were people were pushing, 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 and Kaunda had to succumb. Kaunda never thought he, he could succumb to the pressure of people, but he had to. He was a very powerful president. Remember. So even in Mwaba UPND, as much as Varungu Trevor Titiwa Werepo, yes, Varungu Titiwa Werepo, that is for sure. But you will be shocked where somebody will come from. You will be shocked. You will be shocked. So be very careful. Be very careful. Don't take things for granted. Don't take things for granted. Be very careful. You, you are taking like Zambia is a company. This is the thing. This is the challenge. Eh? But you PND are taking Zambia, you know, this government as a, as, a, as, a, as a company where you have the shareholding and that's it. No. No. Zambia is not a company. Zambia is not a company. It is a country. And the people have the powers. If somebody plays the politics right, if somebody plays the politics right, Kutimu Amoina Kuimova UPND. Ndemi wapa fe wino wino fe. Number time we let Tamufuaya because Ganami ever, Naimota Mufua. But anyway, you know, I'll be telling people. I'll be telling people. I'll be telling you. I'll be telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm being very careful. We should have a million to click it, click it. But time and again, I'll be telling you the truth. And the truth of the matter at the moment is that your politics is bure. Your politics is bure. Is bure. Eh? I was happy that Vamuetua, Vamuetua was appointed minister of information. The first press conference, <laughs> but I mean, some of these things that you... You, you quarrel you quarrel with the opposition for what for what eh? you start quarreling with nakachinda shan shan look at the real issues the big issue that you have in over upnd at the moment is to explain why you are selling millimil at 300 quarter that is the challenge that you have the biggest issue that you have today is to explain why your fertilizer is expensive. The biggest issue that you have today is why the youths don't have employment. That is your biggest issue. And that issue of unemployment is not only limited to PF youths, including your youths, your youths. Muma group, Vale Mituka, your youths, your youth, they are busy insulting you. Eh? Which prompted Divaaka in the HLM to respond. For me, actually, that response was not necessary. Divaaka in the HLM. You don't have to drag yourself to go down there. Each in Tinya, Kuwa, Iche will not help. Threatening these young people will not help. It will not help. It will not help. You will just make them upset. You will just make them upset. Youths are not that you can even bang and you have got Tava Iche. You have got children who are youths. If every day you are going to be, you know, taking out, hey, Camilo Pola Panganda, I'll whip you, I'll whip you. They will defy you. They will defy you. Bring them close. Bring them close. Make them your friends. Make them friends. And it's not enough to go out there and take pictures with them, take selfies with them. You need to do more. You need to do more. Hey, anyway. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. 
Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.